Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Cyclops figure. <sighs> there's some stuff on here. I, I know I say this a lot, but there's usually some good stuff on every figure. This figure does have a couple of good things, and it does have some things that are really, really bad. You're gonna have to decide. He didn't like it. He didn't like it when I said that. Yeah, so there's some good stuff and some bad stuff, as usual. Some bad stuff is pretty severe on this guy. The good stuff is, eh, I don't know if it makes up for it. Um, we're gonna have to talk about it. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand again and take a closer look. Uh, this guy stands just shy of 16 and a half centimeters, which makes him pretty close to six and a half inches. That's fine. It's basically a Bucky Cap figure. We have the same legs and same torso that we've seen about a million times. And that's one of the problems. We'll get into that in a minute, though. First, let's do a quick question of the day. We're going to do two of them. First question, are you a fan of the AOA Cyclops design with the long hair, the one eye, the armor, and whatnot? Are you a fan of that? And the second question is, would you consider his forehead a five head with a hairline that far back? Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the aesthetics. First of all, this does not look like anything close to an adult collectible. And for those of you who say these are made for kids, the age range on there, wherever that is, is not for the intended audience. These are adult collectibles. I know because they have Build-A-Figure parts, and I know because the Hasbro makes cheaper toys, less designed cho toys for children. These are made for adults, while they can be accessible to kids as well. You don't make designs of very obscure characters for kids, because they have no idea what the heck it is. These are adult collectibles. They just happen to be low-end adult collectibles. But this figure does not look the part. The solid blue body just looks so cheap. So cheap. If it wasn't for the little bit of paintwork on the armor, this would be an absolute garbage looking figure. That little bit of like rust type of detailing looks okay, but this solid blue body just isn't cutting it. It would be better if it was sculpted better. Like I know the individual details are good on this sculpt and the torso itself is good for medium build, but it doesn't look like the character is supposed to look. AOA Cyclops is supposed to be beefy as heck and this guy's not. He's also supposed to be wearing navy blue and black, if not just all navy blue. He's not, he's wearing much more of like a normal neutral blue. Doesn't look right. This figure looks awful. His upper legs, as we've seen a million times on this mold, are tiny compared to his lower legs. The quads are no bigger than the calves and that can be done properly, but in this case it's not. Uh, it's really the length though that's the problem. This figure is a mess. The best thing about the figure is the new arms that they have on there, which we may have seen before, I don't remember, but these are pinless arms with a really nice sculpt for the upper arm. Bicep looks good. Shoulder is better than average. I believe it's a new shoulder. It seems to be, but it still should be a little bit bigger, but it's definitely bigger than we usually get, so that's okay. But yeah, the armor sculpted well enough. That's fine. The head, oh. I don't know guys, what do you think about this face? I hate it. It looks way too poopy. Like he's got way too much wrinkle in his eyebrows. The visor isn't big enough to hide like where his eyebrow would be, but he doesn't have any eyebrows, so that's weird. He's got like this scrunched up face, it's really wide. His hairline goes so far back. Ugh, this figure's really unappealing to me. I'm not a huge fan of the Cyclops design, but I don't hate it, but this figure is making me want to. It is raw. Okay, so aesthetically speaking, really the saving grace is the new arms are nice enough, arm, and the armor has a little bit of detailing on it, so it's acceptable. Uh, but this figure is ugly as hell otherwise, so five out of 10, it's really unappealing. All right, let's talk about the, oh, there are no accessories, zero out of 10. Let's talk about the articulation. This is Bucky Cap, so we have a hinge in there, which we can't use because of the hair. It does go down forward a little bit, that's okay. Rotation should be mostly all right. Yeah, the hair gets in the way some, but it's all right. No real attitude on there. Can we take the belt off? I haven't tried. Usually you can, but it's possible that they made it that you can't. I don't see, I don't see a spot where it comes off. So that's interesting. Yeah, unless I'm crazy. Okay, so shoulders. This side goes almost horizontal. This side does the same. So shoulders don't go quite horizontal, but that's pretty damn close. So that's fine. Full rotation, except for where the shoulder pad is on this side, that's fine. This side, of course, gets the whole thing. Bicep swivel is fine on both sides. Double jointed elbow. Let's see how they did on this extra beefy side. Oh, <laughs> they just, they just kind of didn't. He has no range. He's got 90 degrees on this side if you're lucky. And on this side, let's see. 
Uh, okay, 90 degrees again. What the heck, Hasbro? You can get way better than 90 degrees out of a figure that's only this thick, but they only got 90 degrees out of it. So that's a bit of a bummer. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge, that's fine. Ab crunch is still the bucky cap ab crunch, but it's working really well this time and it has a giant pizza oven in there. But it does go all the way back and he just kind of slides around inside the harness, so that's okay. Going forward works as well. Harness moves effectively enough, so that's good. That ab crunch is probably the best version of the bucky cap ab crunch we've seen. Waist twist is fine. The belt, I'd say, is well situated. It's not as bad as the um, Jim Lee Cyclops was. I would prefer it be a little higher, but I think that's acceptable. Hips go all the way forward, that's nice. They do go back a little bit, going out to the side, all the way. Another great example of well-executed hips. You don't need hinged ball pegs, you don't need any crazy stuff, crazy gaps or anything, and they don't stick out too much, there's not a huge thigh gap. This is a good hip right here. Thigh swivel is fine, double jointed knee is fine. He's a little gummy, the plastic they used is a little soft. You do get the boot swivel, which is whatever. Ankle goes all the way back, all the way forward, and you get an ankle rocker. He does still have the tiny feet and long legs, as mentioned before, so eh, eh. Okay, so articulation on this guy is not too bad. I'll take it, I'll give it a seven out of 10. No, I'll give it an eight because the hips are really nice and the ab crunch works well, so that's fine. No, arms don't bend, neck doesn't work well. Back to seven, seven out of 10 for the articulation on this guy, plus the ab crunch has a big gap in it. So yeah, this figure is just like a phoned in as can be figure. Really not good enough. They really needed to use a bigger body for this. Yeah, it just doesn't look right at all. It could look so much better. So final verdict on this guy, six out of 10. It's not a good release. It's really not. It's acceptable as a spot filler. It's not absolute garbage, but very, very little effort was put into this release and uh, it shows. So there you go. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.